All right, guys. So I recently picked up this uh, disgusting uh, ZX Spectrum as uh, free, basically with some games. I bought some games, and this came free with it. So this is uh, part one of hopefully a restoration. Uh, I'm still not sure exactly how far I'm going to go with the restoration. It really depends if this thing works or not. Um, as you can see, it's absolutely disgusting. It's been lying in a loft somewhere for countless years with obviously no protection. It hasn't been covered. It's just been lying, gathering all the dirt. And the the face plate is hanging off it here. It actually does pop right off. And taking the face plate off reveals just even more disgusting mess. Uh, yeah, so the status of this is unknown. I don't know if this works or not. But uh, hopefully we're going to test it here. The power supply has been, or the power jack has been ripped right off the board or taken off the board. Obviously the someone has damaged the port or the jack on this and when I got the the spectrum the wires were just soldered straight to the board. Although one of them had broke off. Um so yeah I don't know the status of the spectrum whether it actually works or not. So the first thing we're gonna test here is the power supply. Uh, the power supply itself is in not bad condition. It's uh, there's no marks or chunks out of it or anything. Um, obviously the jack's missing off the end of the wires here. So we're going to test to see if we can actually get power out of this thing first. Okay, so I've got my multimeter here, and uh, I've got some uh, wires here with. Some crackled clips on them, so they're basically gonna save me trying to hold ten things at once here. So I'm gonna clip these onto the wires, the end of the wires here. And then we're going to clip the other end onto the terminals of the multimeter. Okay, so the power supply is plugged in. And we're getting zero here, so... See if there's uh, maybe a loose wire. Oh. Okay. So these power supplies are rated at 9 volts. <laughs> it's booting out over 14 volts. Um, that's quite actually pretty normal because the power supply for the Sega Mega Drive, they're also rated at 9 volts, but put out over 14 volts. So we'll have a dodgy wire here. It's just uh, the wire that comes out and actually goes to the spectrum. If I hold it in the right position, we're getting voltage. So... There's a loose wire here somewhere. Now these uh, power supplies do have screws in them, so we should be able to pop this open and see what's happening inside. All right, pop this thing open here. It is unplugged now. Um, yeah, not many power supplies actually have screws in them. Or you can pop them open. They're usually all sealed. Two of the screws have come out. Okay. So there's a huge big capacitor in there which we need to stay away from. I don't fancy getting a, a bite from that. Uh, not much to see really. 
I'm guessing there's a busted, a broken wire here in this area, or possibly a bad solder joint. So I'm going to plug this back in again and do the same again, test this and see if we can pinpoint exactly where the problem is. I'm guessed on a broken wire, you know, they usually break around here where they're get, constantly getting bent all the time. Alright, we're plugged in again here, so hopefully I can figure out exactly. Yeah, I think that's a broken wire here somewhere. So I should be able to hopefully just snip the wire off and then solder it straight back into the board. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Either way, I'm going to need to solder the board anyway. Because if it was a bad solder joint, you know, I'll need to solder that in anyway but wiggling it, wiggling it about from that position there isn't making any difference it's only when you actually move it here yep so there's your voltage there you take my hand away it drops again so it's definitely a busted wire in round about this area so we'll do that we'll just snip a Snip the wire here, solder it straight back into the board here. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is snip this wire, so I'll do the right here. And then we're going to unsolder this from the board. Try and get this uh, grommet off here. Sometimes with the uh, old solder like this, you'll actually find it melts better if you introduce a fresh piece of solder to it. It actually helps to lower the melting point. If we can get at it. Okay, that's the dodgy wire removed. So I managed to get the little grommet off the wire, but I'm not going to be able to just feed the, the new bit of wire through. So I'm actually going to split this open with a knife, and then I'll be able to super glue it closed again in the right position once I've finished. <coughs> okay, I'm ready to solder the new wire and the new part of the wire back in there. So it was the the one with the stripe was to the top so if I can feed that through the hole from the back here is that really enough light here for me I'm working in the shadows the light is around the other side so I think that's about right Okay, one in. Okay. That's the wire soldered back into place there. So all we have to do now is plug it back in and test it. Make sure that we're getting a good steady feed with no problems once we wiggle the wire about. 
Okay, that's it plugged in again, and um, we're getting a steady 14.1 volts, and yep, absolutely perfect. So it's a power supply shorted for now. Anyway, there's still obviously no plug on the end of it, but we'll short that out when we get it. So the grommet, I split open down one side, um, if I can figure it out, yeah, um, try and get that to focus for you, um, yeah, we split that open with a knife just down one side of it, so we'll be able to feed it back onto the wire here, and that will give us our protection for where it comes out of the case and then I'll just put a wee bit of super glue in the gap there and glue it back onto the wire okay well that's the uh, the wire back in the place there as you can see I've left uh, a bit of a loop of wire just to take up a bit of slack and put the grommet on super glued the gap where I cut it open so really you just have to Stick the top back on this here. There's a bit of foam on the inside of that there. It's really just to stop any vibrations. Alright. There you go, if you can see the dirt of this thing. I don't see the point in cleaning it just yet. Until I make sure everything else is working. And just a final test um, with it all back together again. And yep, sort of happy days.